Do you ever find yourself caught not really knowing how to end a fiddle tune? Well, stay tuned because today we're talking all about fiddle tags, and I'm gonna be showing you three common fiddle tags that you can use within your own playing. Hi, I'm Lauren, a professional violinist and fiddle player living in Nashville, Tennessee, and I help thousands of people reach their violin and fiddle goals. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. We'd love to have you here. So the tags that I'm going to be showing you today are in the key of A major, but they really can be applied to most keys. So keep that in mind. They are transposable. And as far as level, we're going to be starting slightly simpler and then working our way up to slightly more challenging. So this first tag, it's the most basic as it gets. You've probably heard it before, but it's called shave and a haircut two bits, and it's used to end Cripple Creek among other tunes, but that's the popular one that it's used as an ending for. And we're just starting on the E string with our third finger A, and it goes like this. So it's really just that simple. We are staying on the E string. We have that rest before our last two notes and all it requires of you is just three fingers. Now this next tag is famously used to end Orange Blossom Special, but again, you can use it in other ways and it's a little longer of a tag. We have more notes that are involved and it goes like this. <laughs> So let me slow that down for you because there's a lot happening there, but I'll go ahead and play it at a slower tempo so that you can catch some of those notes. We're starting on the E string and we have our third finger A to begin with. And then G sharp is our second note and we're kind of just walking around with that same finger pattern. And then we have that little cha-cha-cha at the end there with a chord. We have a C-sharp and A played together. The C-sharp is on the A string. The A is on the E string. And then the last tag that I want to show you today sort of incorporates the first two that we worked on just now. And it goes like this. <laughs> So as you can see, we're starting the same way that we did the second tag, but we're ending it in a slightly different way. We are bringing in some of the minor aspect into it and some double stops as well. So I'll go ahead and play that for you slowly so that you can pick up some of those notes. So the double stops that we have there at the end are between the A and D strings, and we just have that low second finger on the F natural, and then we slide into that unison A where you can use your fourth finger on the D string to play against open A. So those are three of the tags that I use most often in my own fiddle playing when I'm performing and playing tunes, and I hope that gives you an idea of the type of tags that you can incorporate into the tunes that you play. And I do have a free printable sheet on my blog where you can see how all three of these tags look in sheet music form if that is helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you did make it to the end of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Happy practicing.